The differences between primary and permanent dentition. Starting with general differences, while primary teeth are 20 in number, we have a set of 32 in the permanent dentition. Note there are no premolars in the primary set. The age of eruption for primary teeth is between 6 months to 3 years, with the first tooth to erupt being the mandibular central incisor. For the permanent teeth, the age of eruption is between 6 years to 21 years and the mandibular first molar is the first tooth to erupt. The morphological differences starting with the crown. The primary teeth are white and the permanent teeth have a darker yellowish hue. This is because of a thicker dentin. The mesiodistal width of the primary anteriors is much greater than the cervical occlusal dimension giving them a squarish appearance whereas for the permanent teeth uh, permanent anterior teeth the cervical occlusal dimension is much greater than the mesiodistal width a marked cervical constriction is seen in the primary teeth with a very prominent cervical bulge or a cervical ridge this is most prominent in the primary mandibular first molar. On the lingual surface, the primary teeth lack a well-defined cingulum. The permanent teeth have a prominent cingulum along with a well-defined lingual fossa. For the canines, the cusps in the primary teeth are sharp and pointed, giving it a conical appearance, whereas the canines of the permanent dentition have an elongated appearance. The mesial and distal sides taper towards the occlusal table from the uh, contact area markedly, making the occlusal table narrow for the primary dentition. Also note that the contact area is placed more gingivally in the primary dentition. The primary teeth are more upright and show an edge-to-edge -edge relationship in occlusion, whereas the permanent teeth have a slight overjet and overbite during occlusion. The primary teeth have long, slender roots which flare widely. This is to accommodate the developing permanent tooth bud. The permanent teeth have short, bulbous roots. The primary teeth have a shorter root trunk. That means that the percussion area is very close to the cervix. The primary teeth have a wide apical foramen as compared to the permanent teeth which have a narrow apical foramen. This is the reason we do not see localized infections in the primary dentition. The location of accessory canals is also different for the primary teeth. They are located in the cervical third of the root and for the permanent teeth the accessory canals are located in the apical third. The logical differences. The main histological difference is in the direction of the enamel, in enamel rods at the cervical third of the tooth. They are directed occlusally in the primary dentition. And for the permanent teeth, the, uh, the enamel rods are pointing towards the gingiva or they are directed gingivally. This is important while preparing class 5 cavity. Uh, the dentin is more mineralized in the uh, permanent dentition. The primary teeth have large pulp chambers with high pulp horns, in which is the pulp is also more cellular and vascular with more potential for repair. The innervation also differs for the permanent teeth. The, nerve, uh, the pulpal uh, nerve endings are located between the odontoblasts, making the permanent teeth more sensitive. The periodontium, the primary teeth, have a thinner cementum with the absence of secondary cementum. Also, the IOPA will show a very prominent lamina dura in the primary teeth. The significance of these differences is mainly in uh, clinical uh, treatment and management.